foreign mm. countries people, yeah. okay, and they and they they um, they um, award this movie. Mm. And the and the movies cause the yeah. Swingley Street yeah. stay. Mm. So why does happen? Yeah. I just I just yeah. can't understand. Yeah, that, that's a, that's a good point. You might yeah that that's true. I mean, if this movie had won the the Oscar in in Hollywood, then mm-hmm. you can imagine that um, the government would be. Uh, Whoa. Well, they, they would be uh, decorating the, the street with gold, wouldn't they? Oh, and, uh, right. <laughs> and so on. But anyway, mm. we better move on. We, there's another, um, in, in terms of a, quite a, um, a concern, actually, in terms of mm. there's been some arrests, a series of arrests um, of democracy um, activists and, and, and uh, in the past f- um, few weeks, actually, which is a, a bit of a, you know, that that's, it seems to be um, a, quite a concern, I think. There's, um, uh, there's, a, there's been a, f- a few protests, hasn't there, outside the Beijing liaison office. Right. And just want to ask you guys about that, whether you sense that are the police slightly, and the government, uh, you know, are they trying to hammer down on, on activists in a way that um, they they haven't been in the past and so on. And in particular, they arrested this guy, um, Richard Soy, mm. uh, Yu Chung. He was the vice chairman of the um, Hong Kong Alliance in support of patriotic democratic movements in China. And, you know, there's a photo of him here. You know, he, he looks um, a very sort of um, moderate kind of guy. And to see a guy like that... Um, going arrested, getting arrested, and going to court for a, for a demonstration, um, you know, it makes you think. You know, are they trying to the government? You know, are they trying to threaten other activists and and you know different political, different democratic groups and so on? Um, uh, I mean, what's your what's you got, what's your take on that, you guys? I think I I think I cry. Um, uh, I agree with what we said like two months ago about about the high speed rail protest. Mm. I think the the uh, the authority they really scare about um, the post eighty generation. Um, if more young people come out and and become more radical, so so they have to they have to um, um, arrest one of the icons and suppress and suppress them and make them make their parents and and everybody um, and make the fearless. Um, fairness to to, mm. to to those young people. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's interesting that the police actually they went to um, uh, they arrested six people um, in in the past um, uh, in the past uh, in the past week, and they but they actually went to their homes and um, uh, Before, yes. yeah they went to their house to arrest them from their house. You see, and uh, you know in some ways was that necessary? Could they they just could have called them into the news into the um, police station and, and arrested them? But it's almost like very, you know, what you would call white terror uh, tactics, because uh, you can imagine being woken up at 6 a.m., which they were, and um, taking you from your house, it, it, um, it's a form of intimidation, KG, isn't it? KGB. <laughs> it? It is, isn't it? It's the kind of thing which would happen in um, eastern Germany yeah. um, during, the, you know, the, the 1950s and 1960s. It's that kind of stuff, isn't it? Um, which, let's be honest, happens every day in mainland China, actually, that kind of stuff. Um, but because it's so damn, so damn commonplace, then, um, you know, it's just, uh, it's just ongoing, isn't it? But, um, but uh, you know, are the Hong Kong police starting to adopt some of those um, tactics a little bit? And, um, I mean, that, you know, is certainly a concern, um, uh, what, quite what they're up to and, and who's orchestrating it. The, the arrest is a message. Mm. I, I must say the arrest is a message to those uh, uh, protesters. Say, you can, uh, you can protest everywhere in Hong Kong. I mean, anywhere in Hong Kong, mm. except in front of... Or in the back of my territory, mm. you know, yeah. this is a sign. Yeah, and, and it's interesting because these demonstrations they were taking place right outside mm-hmm. the Beijing liaison office, you see, and it makes you think: Are the mainland Chinese authorities, uh, the powers that be, uh, you know, within their group in Hong Kong, are they putting some pressure on the um, the police? To um, make these arrests. What I what I read it from the newspaper is I uh, 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 they said the, the guys uh, at the um, at the uh, central liaison liaison office uh, sent someone to talk with uh, Andrew Andrew Tau, our friend. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, said in the future uh, protest, 
you can't protest anywhere, okay, except at the back of our our land, our territory. Mm. But uh, what I what I heard is Andrew said no, okay. So um, uh, the the uh, kind of the conversations it's is exclude is uh, maybe in the middle of uh, of the thing. I don't know. That. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it just seems ridiculous to me that uh, the whole uh, idea, the whole whole um, point of being able to um, to demonstrate and stage a protest is that mm-hmm. you should be allowed to stage it at the location mm-hmm. which it has the you know the greatest impact and at which you know the people that you're not happy with, it, you know, it seems ridiculous that you um, can you know stage a demonstration anywhere else apart from. You know the location where you're meant to be staging. Uh, you know, in terms of the arg- right. intellectual argument about free speech, mm-hmm. it's so important, I think, to be able to to stage a demonstration in certain um, key, you know, locations outside government uh, government headquarters, outside um, different courts, outside the Legislative Council building, outside the Beijing Liaison Office, mm-hmm. and there should be, I think, um, greater. Um, powers in place to protect free speech and the right to demonstrate, in especially in those locations. Mm-hmm. It's a real concern, I think, that these guys got arrested. It seems pretty trumped up, I think, because mm-hmm. let's face it, they were they basically they are being arrested for, mine, you know, relatively minor public order, you know, ar- what I call argy bargy, pushy. You know, there's a, a group of activists and there's a bit of pushing and so on, and you know, they just want to hang a few banners up on the the front um, door of the. Um, uh, government building or the Legion office, and they get arrested for it. You see, and um, but, but, I, but I think as a um, as 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 a uh, uh, pan democrat people, I mean, as a member of the, of the, of pan democrats, such arrest give them the chips, give them cre- well credits, mm. uh, well to 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 get more and more people's support. You're right. You're absolutely right. And in some ways, that that can be effect. You know, if it's done in the right way, you can actually mobilise support. And obviously, a court case, there's more publicity and so on, and and you can do that. But in, in some ways, as a as a as a long time activist, I would say, if you're going to stage a demonstration, in some ways, it's better to decide beforehand if you are going to deliberately get yourself arrested or not. Actually, and in, at the moment, a lot of activists are, uh, they're living in between. Actually, they're going on demonstrations not quite sure whether they are or not and in some ways it's better in my opinion if you're going to get arrested and you know and you're going to make a strong statement in terms of that right. to, um, then do it properly um, don't do a halfway stage mm-hmm. either do it or, 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 or don't in some ways and, and in some ways I think the activists in Hong Kong they need to have Think a bit more about that, I'd say. I think some people would like to ask Spider-Man, when will you come out again? Well, well, <laughs> when you, you climb ha- again? You have to wait and see, actually. You have to wait and see. I, I'm doing most of my act- activism behind the scenes, actually, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm still around. I'm still around, uh, you guys. Anyway, we, we've run out of time, and um, we'll see you in a few weeks' time. Yeah. We might have a break for Easter, but we'll be, we'll be back, um, won't we, in, in yeah. probably three sure. weeks. Yes. Okay, thanks. Okay.